What's up guys, Ryan here from Inspire and welcome to another Final Cut Friday. Now in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create beautiful slow motion footage in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so what you want to do is head into Final Cut Pro. Once you've imported all of your footage, you've got your timeline all set up. As you can see, I'm on 1080p, so HD in 24 frames a second. Now for slow motion, it doesn't really make a difference um, how you set up your project. So this is the footage from a promotional video I did for a um, restaurant and a bar. So I'm just gonna go down, I'm gonna use this clip right here because you've got some nice pouring of some gin and then obviously a little bit more as well. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. So once you've bought your clip into your timeline, what you want to do is obviously find where you want your slow motion to begin. So as we skip through the frames, so if we want to go to there, as you could, let's go forward a little bit as, as she's pulling the bottle away. So what you can do obviously is you wanna split that up. So you wanna hit your blade tool and then just simply um, cut it in half. You wanna then move along to where you want the slow motion to end. So I would probably say as she's pulling it away there. So what you wanna do is obviously go back to your select button either by pressing A on your keyboard or up here and clicking select. You wanna select the clip that you want. Now, it's very important when um, wanting to use slow motion footage that you record in the highest possible frame that you can. I would say a minimum of 60 frames a second, but obviously if your camera does allow to shoot in, I don't know, 120 frames, 240, whatever it might be, you know, whether you've got kind of a great Canon, Sony, maybe a 1DX Mark II, uh, you know, or a GoPro, something that allows recording in higher frames, you do want to use that so like I said 60 frames per second as a minimum that way you're going to get a nice smooth slow motion so what you want to do with your clip selected is head over here to the retiming tool you want to go slow now 50% is going to be the fastest then 25 then 10 I would probably recommend you don't want to go any more than 25% if you're only doing, uh, if you're only shooting in 60 frames per second. Obviously, anything more, i.e., 120 frames, 10% would work great. You'll get that really nice smooth slow motion. So, what you want to do is obviously hit. Um, 25% there, and as you can see, now it is going to render. Um, it's just rendering up the top. There we are. So as you can see, if we hit play, it is pretty jumpy. So it's not fantastic slow motion by any means. And then obviously it skips back to normal speed. So in order to fix that, obviously if you're shooting in like 120 frames or 240, whatever it might be, you might not need to do this. So just bear with that in mind. But on 30 frames a sec, on, on 60 frames a second, sorry, what you wanna do is head over to the retiming tool again head down to video quality, select optical flow. Basically what's that, what that is gonna do, it will analyze your footage and it will basically delete the kind of dead frames in between and then it will really, really smooth it out. So this is what's gonna take a little bit of time, you know, based on how long your clip is. Also how powerful your computer is as well. So just bear that in mind. But if we play it again now, as you can see, we've got a really nice bit of slow motion there. And then as we come out of there, we go back in to normal speed. So there you go, guys. That's how to do smooth slow motion in Final Cut Pro X. If you have enjoyed this video, please drop me a like below and make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next week for another Final Cut Friday.